It was Wednesday 12 p.m. and I still remember me wrapping the lunch prep in the kitchen when Sakti came and told me let's go to Mumbai. At first I took it casually and my response was very cold. My only question was how will everything be done in such a short time? I was waiting to break the news to Ruhi as she was very busy in her normal routine. Sakti was all set in his mind and I knew nothing can stop this trip now. We were thrilled and joyful. I too was looking forward to a break from creating content on regular Mondays. I had no time to spend hours in the parlor, so did a very basic grooming and was set for a four-day trip. It was almost late evening. I quickly sorted our clothes and packed them. We had a flight at 6:45 a.m. so we started early the next day. You must be wondering when one lives in a city why vacate in another city? To be honest, it's our third visit and every time we went, we were falling for the city. This time we decided to rent a car for 4 days and explore Mumbai on our terms. It costed a bit but the experience was different and fun. The humid hot weather was also another reason for renting a car. Well, the first spot was the beach and since our check-in was at 12 p.m., we decided to do some star house hunts. After which we headed to Prithvi Cafe, which was recommended by one of my Insta friends. We were tired, we were hungry, and the place had summer cafe vibes. The cool sound of coil, the relaxing environment that was filled with people who were mindful enough not to talk loud as it was surrounded with residences. The food, the vibe It was so perfect. I just didn't want to leave the place. Well, if you happen to visit Mumbai, you must go here. By 12:30 p.m., we checked into the hotel. We booked a sea view room at Juhu Novo Hotel. We stayed at Juhu for two days and then went to Andheri for the rest two days. The interior of this room was such an inspiration especially the way they have worked out with the focus lighting and accent lighting every space was functional enough a perfect blend of form and function i would say The wallpaper had my heart and the way the flow was created kept green as the main wow. color it was impressive wow. 
For us, travel has a different meaning. We often give priority to our stays, and I grab a lot of inspiration from it. Relax, break from the mundane, and balance between exploring and rest is our definition of travel. Our first visit to Mumbai was after a year of our marriage. The second visit was during Ganesh Puja three years back, and now again. There was no checklist this time. Mumbai Darshan and the most awaited festival of the city were already witnessed. This trip was to feel the vibes in the city. Work sometimes takes a toll on all of us, and in today's busy routine, it's more often. In the chaos of going to trip or not going to trip, I'm glad we made it happen. When we first came to this city as a couple, there was fear, doubt, uncertainty. But now, this city has turned into a healer to the soul. Everyone has that favorite travel destination where one can let go oneself. Allow the mind to wander, to see the possibilities and find yourself. For us, it's Mumbai. the city of dreams and yes i may sound filmy but this city takes us on a dream ride it was time to hit the road and do some more star house hunts to our surprise we were just few kilometer away from some of the most renowned actors den accidentally i came across aradhana yes abhishek and aishwarya's den then the curiosity kept growing and to our surprise we spotted most of them without a google map Arya's flat was lit up for her wedding and Ajay's Shiv Shakti house was under renovation. We halted at a place in Gorigaon East to have some evening snacks. It was dim sum vu, the best momos I ever had. It was almost night and the first day of the trip was already rocking. We headed back to the hotel and had our dinner there. We had to wait for a long time though. On the second day we planned to pay a visit to IKEA. The dinner and breakfast was complimentary here in the hotel. They had wide spread salads, appetizers, juices, fruits and sandwiches along with the Indian menu for the buffet and we were just going with the flow. The back side of the hotel was big enough with a pool and a view of the sea. To be honest, enjoyed every bit of the stay, be it indoors or outdoors. tall coconut trees providing shade from the scorching sun to the sound of the waves touching the shores soothe our souls we spent a few minutes of quiet time here watching the sea waves By 1 p.m. we quickly grabbed our lunch at Angrezi Dhaba. The name excited us, the rating was good enough, and the most exciting thing was that they cook Angrezi sabzis with desi gravy. Finally, it's like yeah. I read a meme once. When you are a kid, your dream destination is Disneyland, and when you are an adult, it's like yeah. We were planning since a long time, but kabhi uska number nahi aata tha. This is just a gist. We spent 3 hours here. so it's worth the content my next video will be dedicated to ikea the tour the guide what i bought if you visit for the first time what things you need to keep in mind i'll talk more on that we were damn tired and the second day was more exciting than the first one well i forgot that sakti was here before for a week to attend a training so officially it's his fourth visit He had good old memories and he decided to take us over there. Well, I must admit he is very bad at memorizing the locations. We were in a loop on the same route for at least 3 times. He intended to take us through the lanes to have street breakfast. And finally, after a long search, <laughs> we found this spot. We had some vada pav and irani chai. This day was a little different. While our way back, we were caught by traffic police for taking the wrong path, and you know the after effect. 
we wanted to explore the various cuisines that this city had to offer. Our priority was Maharashtrian food and we ended up at Diva Maharashtra Cha, where many famous stars have dined already. The owner of the restaurant was humorous and attended every single table to brief about this venture and how all this began. Enjoyed the food as well as their hospitality. Thali Pit Kima was my favorite. Next on our list was Snow World. We were planning for Imagica but we knew Ruhi won't enjoy a single ride as he has high phobia. After a long discussion, traveling one and a half hour just to attend the snow world didn't make sense. So we decided to experience the same in the Phoenix city. Well, the mall life in Bangalore is much more happening than in Mumbai, I must admit that. It was really fun and for Ruhi, it was like she was living her life. The third day ended with a dinner at a restaurant nearby our hotel. I've heard nightlife in Mumbai is happening, wanted to witness one, but we were denied at most of the places because they don't allow kids. Isi se kaam chala na pada. was our last day. Itinerary was having Parsi Khana and Film City tour. We travelled all the way to Filmistan, a place that didn't excite me a lot. While having breakfast, we came to know that we can't enter if we don't have a permission. Then we figured out it was Film City where one can tour the sets. After reaching the spot, we were guided by guides who we knew will be cheated, but we wanted to explore, so agreed upon to visit the mud island where actual shooting happens. Lately, Ruhi's curiosity about exploring the Bollywood side was growing, and she too wanted to explore. We witnessed many sets, Chup Chup Ke House, Aksa Beach, Dhamal's W Tree, the new set of Ajay Devgan's movie Maidan and many more. It was a good experience, many serial shootings were going on and some bungalows were getting ready for the new shoots. It was quite a kind of experience, a knowledge that took us so long to figure out.
Our last stop was to have some Parsi food. I wanted to try Kima Pao specially. So headed to Soda Bottle Opener Wala, located at Bandra Kulla Complex. This Parsi themed restaurant is one of a kind. The dining experience, the nostalgic interiors, the music, the knickknacks collected gives a very traditional Parsi cafe looks. Patterned floors had my eyes. This was perhaps the last meal outside. To be honest, the food tasted yum and I'm definitely going to its Bangalore branch once again. Let's tour in the second hotel that we stayed at. It was a boutique hotel with neat yet vibrant colors used in the interiors. Left side was the bathroom area and right side was wardrobe. Walls had tile cladding with texture. A full length headboard was making the room quite cozy. Well, many of you have joined me in this journey. I welcome you wholeheartedly. I hope my contents add value to your life and help you in some way or the other. What's your take on this trip? Do let me know in my comment box and let's get connected. That's all for now. Meet you soon with IKEA tour video and I hope you are excited as I am. Yes or no? Comment below. Do consider subscribing if not yet. Stay safe. Bye-bye.